And today we're at Posh and Petite Playhouse in Woodland Hills, California. <laughs> Did you know this is a place where we can explore and be curious about different jobs? <laughs> I can't wait to try different jobs like an ice cream maker or a firefighter. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Which way should we go? Oh, check out this road. <laughs> Look. It's black with white stripes. Oh, black and white are opposite colors. Opposites mean they're completely different from one another. Kind of like, oh, night and day or hot and cold. <laughs> oh, check it out. Do you see that horse over there? Oh, let's drive our car over to him. Hello, horsey. <laughs> I'm gonna name him Popsicle, cause I really love Popsicle. <laughs> Can you pretend to be a horse? <gasps> Nay! Whoa! Oh, he's got a lot of horsepower. Let's go! <laughs> Check it out, it's a marketplace. We can buy healthy fruits and vegetables here and make delicious meals. I know, let's be a grocer. <laughs> All right, see you later, Popsicle. First, we need our basket. <laughs> wow, check it out. If we wanna be a grocer, we have to get some items to put in our basket so we can ring it up. First, we'll need some alphabet soup. That's healthy and delicious. And how about some peas and carrots? And, ooh, mushrooms too. Check out all these healthy fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are good for your body because they help you grow strong. <laughs> I got it. Let's play a game. Fruit or vegetable? A carrot. It's orange and crunchy, and bunny rabbits love to eat them. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> Do you know if this is a fruit or a vegetable? Oh, that's right, a vegetable. Great job. All right, how about this? It's a cucumber. It's green and it has seeds. Fruits have seeds and vegetables don't. Fruit or vegetable? Oh yeah, that's a tricky one. It's a fruit, even though it seems like it's a vegetable. But great job. Hmm. Oh, yum. A strawberry. Strawberries are really, really sweet. Is a strawberry a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> awesome. A fruit. One fruit point, please. Hmm. Oh, look, a lemon. Lemons are one of my favorite colors, yellow, and they're really sour. Can you pretend to taste a sour lemon? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, sour is the opposite of sweet. Strawberries are sweet, but lemons are sour. Is this a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a fruit, just like the sweet strawberry. Okay. Ooh, check it out, a piece of corn. Mmm, <gasps> that's delicious. Do you know if it's a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a yummy vegetable. All right, let's go check out now. Welcome to Mika's Marketplace. Oh, I see you got corn. And you're in luck, because we have a special on corn. Just one cent. And a lemon. And our sweet strawberry. And a delicious carrot. And alphabet soup. Peas and carrots. Mmm, mushrooms. Wow, you got so many healthy options. <laughs> oh, 
being a grocer is so much fun. We even got to help a customer take home delicious vegetables to make yummy meals. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Yeehaw! Hey, we're at an ice cream shop. I know, let's pretend to be ice cream makers. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Let's go! Welcome to Mika's Magical Ice Cream Parlor. What's that? Fresh baked cookies? <laughs> Coming right up. Look at that, fresh out the oven. Oh, they smell delicious. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve crispy cookies. Let's taste one. Mmm, that's delicious. Would you like a bite? <laughs> there you go. Mmm. <laughs> Do you know what this is? That's right, a purple popsicle, just like my horse's name. <laughs> Would you like a popsicle? There you are, one for you and one for me. Oh, that's really cold. Perfect for a hot day. Oh, those are opposites, hot and cold. When I'm cold, oh, it makes me shiver. But when I'm hot, oh, I could sure use a popsicle. <laughs> Would you like some ice cream today? Great. How many scoops? Oh, five scoops? Okay, here we go. One chocolate scoop. Two, a vanilla scoop. Three, mint chocolate chip. There you go, friend. Perfect. Four, a strawberry scoop. And five, a vanilla scoop on top. Oh, wow, it's stacked up so high. <laughs> I love being an ice cream maker. I love scooping ice cream and tasting it too. Hey, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> Okay, let's see what other jobs we can do. <gasps> oh, don't forget Popsicle. Hello, Popsicle. Are you ready? Are you set? Go! <gasps> wow, check it out. We're in front of a fire station. A firefighter's job is to put out fires. Do you wanna be a firefighter with me? <laughs> Awesome, let's go. This is a cool fire station. Oh, look, a fire truck. It's red and really long too. <laughs> and look at these trucks. Let's go park. All right, to the parking lot we go. <laughs> oh, and look at these trucks. They're really big. Oh, and these trucks are small. Big and small, those are opposites. How about this one? Big or small compared to this truck? Pretty small, right? <laughs> but what about compared to this one? Oh, now it's really big. <laughs> Do you hear that? It's a siren. Oh, we gotta get ready to go. Put out a fire. Hello? Yes? Fire? On one, two, three, fire road? Oh no! Let's go! Grab our hose! <gasps> Firefighter Mika is on the way. Grab my hose and save the day. Oh, awesome. We just put out a fire. Oh, that 
was so much fun. Thanks for helping me. You're very brave. Firefighters are really brave. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Whoa, look, an animal hospital. This is where veterinarians work. Veterinarians are doctors, but for animals. Would you like to be a veterinarian with me? <laughs> awesome, let's go. Oh, look at these doors. A small door for turtles and hamsters and gerbils too, and a medium door for bunny rabbits and ducks, quack, quack, and ferrets and guinea pigs too. And a large door for cats and dogs. Large and small, those are opposites. <laughs> cool. Oh, and look at this door for birdies. Oh, that's another opposite, high and low, low and high. <laughs> Let's pretend to be birds Fly into the vet's office. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> oh, do you hear that? Paging Dr. Mika, you have a patient ready. Okay. Oh, and check it out, here's our patient. Hello, puppy, how are you today? Little scratches, scratches. Did your family bring you here for a checkup? Oh, awesome. All right, let's get started, boy. We have a stethoscope. Stethoscopes are for hearing what's inside of your body, like your heart. Oh, may I check your heart too? Great. Wow, that sounds nice and strong. Okay, let's check puppy's heart. This might be a little cold. Wow, that sounds so healthy and strong. You must be getting on your daily walks, huh? Don't forget to hydrate, okay? Doctor's orders. <laughs> oh, being a veterinarian is so much fun. I love helping animals and their families too. <laughs> Now that I checked out the whole town, I'm gonna hit the road. Are you ready, Popsicle? <laughs> Let's go, giddy up! Thank you so much for exploring different jobs with me today. <laughs> if I had to choose, I'd be a ice cream maker, grocer, animal doctor, firefighter, <laughs> all at once. <laughs> they were all so much fun, I can't just pick one. <laughs> but you know the best part? Exploring with you, friend. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <gasps> Great! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> Okay, friends, see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Ball and Bounce in Encino, California. <gasps> Look at this place, it's so colorful. This looks like a great place to bounce and have fun and have a lot of playtime. Oh, but first things first, I need to take off my shoes. Let's go over here. Shoes off, shoes off, it's time to take my shoes off. Shoes off, shoes off, it's time to take my shoes off. <laughs> hey, now that I put my shoes away, it is time to bounce and play. Well, let's go. Wow, check it out. I think this is like a zip line. You can hang on to this bar and go all the way down. Oh, I gotta try it. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, look at this floor. Can you see that? All these different colors. Oh, it's kind of like a really colorful hopscotch. Here, let me try it out. One, two, one, one, two. <laughs> Wow, that was so fun. Kind
kind of reminds me of a rainbow because there's so many different colors. That reminds me, I have a game we can play in my jam pack. Check this out. I have a bingo card. See all these spaces? We can find different colors today and then we can use these stickers to mark down the colors that we found on the card. Will you play with me? <laughs> nice. I wonder how many colors we're gonna find. Let's start looking. Let's go find some colors. Let's go find some colors. Oh, oh, look at these blocks. They're so colorful. Hmm, let's see which ones I wanna pick out. All right, let's see what colors we have. We have orange. <laughs> Can you think of something that's orange? Maybe a pumpkin <laughs> or a carrot? Do you know what animal really likes carrots? That's right, a bunny rabbit. <laughs> okay, orange. Do I have an orange sticker on here? Oh yeah. All right, put this on our chart. Okay, the color orange. And the next color is blue. Hmm, something blue. The sky. Oh, I love seeing a really clear blue sky. <laughs> Let's see. You see blue on here? There it is. Nice bright blue. And our next block is, do you know? It's one of my favorite colors. Yellow, that's right. Can you think of something that's yellow? Maybe a lemon? Oh, have you had a lemon before? They're really sour, but also really tasty. <laughs> or a banana? <laughs> All of these foods are making me a little hungry. Okay, let's see. Let's find the yellow sticker on here. This is such a fun color, I think. Do you know what it is? It's pink. Yeah. Ooh, can you think of something pink? I sometimes think about cotton candy or sweet treats that are pink. <laughs> That's really fun. Um, there's kind of two pinks on here. I think I'll go with this pink. <laughs> and the last color is Green. Okay, something green. Maybe green grass or, ooh, broccoli. I love broccoli or cucumbers. <laughs> okay, let's find the color green on here. Oh, this is a good green. And we'll put it right here. Look at all of those colors. Will you count the colors with me? Okay, one, Two, three, four, five. Five colors added to our chart. <laughs> hey, maybe we can build something really fun with these blocks. Hmm, maybe a fort or a house or a castle or... <gasps> what about a throne? Yes, a royal throne, and then I can be Queen Amika. All right, I'm gonna try it out and see if I fit on the throne. Hello, it is I, Queen Mika. Thank you for coming. Oh, yes, sir. What's your name? Oh, <laughs> nice to meet you, Malcolm. Thank you for coming to my royal kingdom. <laughs> this is so fun. You know what? You can sit here if you like. Enjoy, Malcolm. All right, let's see if we can find some more colors. Come on. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see how fast that was? Oh, this place is so fun. And whoa, this is the most colorful ball pit I've ever seen. Wow, look at all of these colors. Woo, I 
feel like I'm in a bowl of rainbow sprinkles. <laughs> hmm. Hey, I wonder if I could juggle. Let's see, usually you have three balls. Let's see. <laughs> ah, I still need to practice. I'm pretty good with two, though. Whoa! Oh, ball pits are so much fun! You can do a lot of things in ball pits. You can dance, you can fall, <laughs> you can make angels in the ball pit. Ooh. Or you can even take a nap. <clears throat> oh, sorry. <laughs> I was dreaming about those rainbow sprinkles. <laughs> Hey, you see something behind me? Like what? <gasps> a climbing wall! Oh, that's so fun! Look, you have all of these steps that can help you climb to the very top. Should I try it? Okay. I'm ready. I will start with the color blue. Blue, oh and look, there's yellow, and there's red, and oh, I'm already at the top. You look so small down there. Hi. <laughs> Fall back into the ball pit. <laughs> hmm. Let's see, we have, oh, there's another green here. Do you see a green sticker? Yeah, right there. And, oh, I stepped on dark green on the climbing wall, so maybe we can use another green. What other color? Oh, what about red? Like a red apple or a red tomato? You see red on here? Oh yeah. And, oh, Here's another yellow, like the sun. Okay, we'll put our yellow sticker there. Look, the top line is already filled up. Ooh, we could put some more colors on here. Um, another orange. <laughs> or another mm, blue. Maybe another red. And let's find two more colors. What do you think? Oh, maybe the bright pink. Yeah. Yep, pink. <laughs> and another green. <laughs> and another orange. All right, I think that's pretty good. Should we find some more colors? All right, let's go. Whoa. Like a bunny with me. Oh, I wonder what's in here. See you on the other side. Hello. <laughs> Ooh, more colors. Bounce, 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 bounce. Whoa, this looks fun. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's kind of like a little slide. <laughs> hey. There's some more colors here. Maybe we can fill up the chart a little bit. Oh, do you know this color? One of my favorites, <laughs> purple. That's right. And there's a purple sticker right there. Put it there. And oh, can you see on the side? There's some pink, pink. There's a pink sticker. Okay, any other colors? Oh, look behind me. I see yellow. <laughs> There's a yellow sticker. Put it right there. And oh, you see red? Wow, it's really filling up. Look, we only need one more sticker. <gasps> Let's see if we can find our last color. <laughs> oh, look at this. Hmm, some kind of animal, I think. It's green and has two eyes and a really big smile. Looks like this. <laughs> hey, I think this is a frog. Do you know what sound a frog makes? It goes 
Orbit. 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 <laughs> and frogs bounce too, just like bunnies. <gasps> hey, green can be our last color. Look, this green is almost the same green as this frog. All right. <gasps> Check it out. We filled out the entire chart. Look at all of those colors. <gasps> Five, six, seven, eight. Now it's time to celebrate. <gasps> and I see a great place to celebrate. Come on, let's bounce like frogs over there. <gasps> ribbit, 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 ribbit. <laughs> it's time to take a break to wiggle and shake and bounce. Do you see what this is? It's a trampoline. Will you bounce with me? <laughs> All right, let's do it. What a fun way to celebrate filling our color cord. Hey, will you bounce like animals with me? We bounced like bunnies and we bounced like frogs. <gasps> what if we bounce like a kangaroo? Let's do it. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> <laughs> what other animals? <gasps> I wonder how a T-Rex would bounce on a trampoline. Maybe like <laughs> We're really happy T-Rex. <laughs> how high can you bounce? I feel like I'm flying. <laughs> Bouncing with you is so much fun. Let's get our color chart and go. Come on. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> I had so much fun with you today at Ball and Bounce. Hey, thanks for helping me find all of those colors. Check out our bingo color chart. There's so many different colors. I love it. It's so colorful and so beautiful. I know. I think I'll give this to my very best friend, Blippi. <laughs> He'll love it. <laughs> well, this is the end of this episode, but if you want to watch more of my episodes, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Ball and Bounce in Encino, California. I bet there's all different kinds of balls that bounce here. And I bet there's a lot of different shapes here too we can explore like circles or triangles or squares or rectangles. Will you explore with me? Oh great, let's go. <laughs> Look how cool this floor is. I see a lot of different colors and I see a shape. Do you see a shape too? Yeah, a square. Here, come down here. A square has four sides. Let's count. One, two, three, four. There are squares all over this floor. Hmm, I know. I'm only gonna hop on the green squares. Ready? Green, green, green. <gasps> Whoa, look at this. Do you know what this is? It's a basketball hoop. And I see basketballs on the wall. Will you count the basketballs with me? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six basketballs. <gasps> and I see four more right here. Wow, they're all different colors. There's one, two, three, four basketballs. Wow, these are so fun. Do you know what basketball is? It's a really fun sport. You take the basketball and you wanna get it in the basket or the hoop. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if I could get any of these balls in the hoop. I'm gonna try my best. Okay, here we go. Basketball star Mika going for the hoop. Oh, 
Oh, I missed it. That's okay. I'm gonna keep practicing. Now we're gonna try the green basketball. Oh, see, I was trying to use the backboard to help me get it in, and it still didn't work. Well, I have two balls left. The yellow basketball, maybe this is the one. <gasps> yeah! This calls for a 10 second dance party. Yeah! <laughs> Should I try the last one? Maybe this time I'll do a slam dunk. Ready? Here we go. Whoa! Wow! I got the skills. <laughs> I'm just being silly. <laughs> Can you think of another sport where you would need to use a ball? Hmm. <gasps> a soccer ball. Yeah, soccer is another really fun sport where you use a ball. I wonder if we can find a soccer goal anywhere. Come on. I found one, a soccer goal. We have our soccer ball and our soccer goal, so now we can really play soccer. <laughs> Check out the soccer ball. See, it's black and white, and there's two different shapes on it. This shape is a pentagon. Will you count the sides with me? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. A pentagon has five sides. And this shape is a hexagon. <laughs> Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. So in soccer, you wanna get the ball into the goal, but you can't use your hands. You can use your feet, you can use your knees. Hmm, wait a second. There's more balls over here. I wonder if I can get all of them into the goal. Let's see. Oh, we saw something like this earlier. It's a tiny basketball. Do you know what color it is? That's right, it's orange. I'm gonna kick it in the goal. Here we go. Boop. <laughs> oh yeah, goal. And what? <laughs> this tiny one looks like a ball pit ball. Do you know what color that is? Yellow, <laughs> one of my favorites. Let's see if I can kick this tiny little ball into the goal. <gasps> Boop, yes, goal. And we have this really bouncy ball. And it's blue. <laughs> All right, in you go. Yeah, whoa, that was a big one. Goal. And another basketball, but this one's a different color. Do you know what color it is? Red, oh right. That was too light of a kick, but don't worry, I have it in me. Here we go. Goal, see, I knew I could do it. And here's another really bouncy ball, and it's yellow. All right. Three, two, one, goal! Do you know what this color is? Oh yeah, it's red. Okay, goal! <laughs> and now is the time for the official soccer kick. I'm using a soccer ball. I'm using a soccer goal. One, goal! I love <laughs> Thanks so much for playing with me. I wonder what else is here to play with. Let's go. Hey, look at these colorful blocks. Huh, they're kind of set up like bowling pins. And bowling is another sport where you use a ball. There's usually 10 pins for bowling. Will you count with me? Okay, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the perfect setup for bowling. The pins don't usually look like this. These are rectangles. Do you know what a rectangle is? It's a shape with four sides and it has two long sides and two short sides. Let's count them. One, two, three, Four, yeah, that's a rectangle. 
Hmm. And usually you have a bowling ball, which is really heavy. <laughs> but I don't think there's any bowling balls here. Hey, but there's some balls over here. I wonder what kind of ball would knock these blocks over. Hmm. We could try, oh, <laughs> look at this little one. Do you know what color this is? Blue, yeah, let's see if it will knock over these blocks. Nope. <laughs> what about this one? This is a fun yellow ball. All right, let's see if this one will work. Whoa! <laughs> wow, that's a really bouncy ball. It bounced right off the pin. Let's see how many I knocked over. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, that's pretty good. I'll set them back up. We can try another ball. Awesome. Ooh, what about this basketball? I wonder if it's too bouncy to knock any of these blocks over. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> yep, I knocked over. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> we have one ball left to try, the soccer ball. Let's see if the soccer ball can knock any blocks over. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Wow, I knocked over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. Hmm, I wonder what else we could do to knock these blocks down. I have an idea. What if instead of bowling, we played Mika Bowl? <laughs> and instead of using a ball, I'll use me. <laughs> Okay, set these up, and I'm gonna find a way to go down and knock these blocks over. What can I do? I could dance, I could crawl, I could run, or I could be one of my favorite dinosaurs, a T-Rex! Rawr, rawr! Are you ready for the Mika Bowl? Rawr, 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 rawr! I knocked all the pins over, and in bowling when that happens, it's called a strike! Strike! <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, and now it's time to celebrate! <laughs> Come on, let's keep playing! <laughs> Whoa, there are a lot of shapes here! Come look at this one. This is an octagon. Do you know how many sides it has? Well, let's count and find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sides. Wow, that's a really cool shape. Hmm. Oh, look at these little chairs. If you look at the back of them, you can see Square. A square has four sides, see? One, two, three, four. And there's one, two, three, four squares. But if you look even closer, when all of them are together, it makes one big rectangle. And makes for a really comfy couch. <laughs> Whoa, do you see this? It's a giant circle. Huh. It kind of looks like a cake or a pie. Whoa, Whoa look at this big slice of cake. Mmm, 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 -hmm. very tasty. <laughs> wow, there's more shapes over here. I see a big purple rectangle, see? There's the two long sides and the two short sides. <laughs> oh, and if you look to the side here, I see a pink triangle. See, one, two, 
three. Do you see any other shapes? Yeah, a circle, a red circle. And this ball is here too. Should I throw the ball through the circle? Okay, let's do it. All right, ready? So long, ball. Woo! <laughs> hey, I see some really special circles over there. Come on. Look at all of these bubbles. These are the cool circles that I was talking about. <laughs> bubbles are so fun. Hey, you know what I just realized? Every ball we played with today was a circle. A basketball, a soccer ball, a bouncy ball, a ball pit ball. <laughs> so many circles today. Can you remember any other shapes that we saw? We saw a hexagon, a pentagon, an octagon, a rectangle, a triangle, a square. There are so many shapes all around us all the time. Isn't that cool? <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, I'm gonna keep playing with these bubbles. See you next time. Bye. Whoa, this is so cool. I can't believe I'm driving a real race car. Yeah. Vroom, vroom. Race car Mika coming down the track. Look at this stadium, it's so big. Can you guess where I am today? <laughs> I'm in Daytona Beach, Florida at the Daytona International Speedway. Do you know what a big event takes place here? I'll give you a hint. <laughs> it's a world famous race with lots of fast cars. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Check out this track. That's where all the cars drive during the race. It's 2.5 miles long. That's about 400 school buses. It would take me 4,400 cartwheels to make it around the whole track. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Here I go. Woo! One, two, three. That's a lot of cartwheels. I have an idea. You want to go in the garage with me and see a lot of fast cars? Okay, buckle up. Click, click. Let's go. Oh, check it out. It's a real race car. Whoa. And look, it's one of my favorite colors. Purple. <laughs> it matches me so well. I hope I get to drive a real race car later. But let's check out this car. Hey, there's some more colors up here. Yellow, red, and blue. Those are primary colors. And look, do you know what this number is? <laughs> yeah, it's number 23. Whoa! And look at these tires. Whoa! Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> it's a circle, round just like a bagel or a donut or the sun. <laughs> Do you want to pretend to be a race car driver with me? <laughs> okay, friend, buckle up. <gasps> See you later. <laughs> Whoa, it's Amber Balkin. Hey, Amber. Hi. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mika. <laughs> I hear you're the first Canadian female to win a NASCAR sanctioned race. That's true. Whoa. Do you have any other career accomplishments you're particularly proud of? Well, I hope to make history this weekend by becoming the first female to ever win an art national ARCA race. <laughs> Whoa. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> How did you get into NASCAR driving? So I've actually been going to the racetrack since I've been in my mom's belly. 
So I've been at the racetrack for a long time. I actually got started in go-karts where most kids start racing. Wow, and what are your favorite things about being a driver? Well, I love going fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's definitely my favorite. <laughs> How fast do you go? So this weekend we'll be going 183 mile an hour. Whoa, that's so fast. <laughs> it's very fast. How do you prepare for a race? Well, I make sure I drink lots of water, lots of good food. Thank I you. train really hard during the week and make sure I study hard too. <laughs> You're very prepared, Amber. <laughs> Is that your car? Yeah, that's my race car. Do you want to see it? Yes, please. Okay. So Mika, this is my crew chief, Dave. He makes the car go really fast. Hey Dave, I'm Mika. I'm Dave, nice to meet you. <laughs> it takes a good team to be a race car driver, right? It does, it takes a lot of us. What is this tool you're using? This is a 960s wrench. It's one of the most common re wrenches we use on a race car. Whoa, can you make that sound again? <laughs> that sounds so cool. What other tools do you use? Dave? We have a jack. This is what we use to put the race car on the scale. <laughs> Hi, Jack. <laughs> we use the scales to weigh the car. We can we can change the weight on all four corners of the car at the tires oh. to make the car go faster and handle better. So we to and make my job easier. <laughs> oh yes, that's what a good team does. Yeah. <laughs> and how come there's no door? Okay, so we don't run a door. We have a door, but we don't have a door handle. Oh. The door doesn't open. It's just permanently affixed to the fender in, in, in the quarter pan. How do you so get in? I actually get in by jumping through the window. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Can you show me more of your car? Well, certainly. We have numbers to identify as we go around the racetrack. That helps me know when Amber's going by. It helps all the fans and, and friends to know this is Amber's race car. Whoa! Do you know what number that is? <laughs> yeah, number 15. <laughs> now, if you come around the car, you'll see they look no. like lights, uh -huh. but they're just decals. Whoa. They actually don't work, but we give them the appearance that they're real. There are no blinkers in There's this no type blinkers of race There's no blinkers or no brake lights or anything on a race car. They're just stickers? They're just stickers. Well, how do the other drivers know when you're going to stop? They don't. They don't. This is a spoiler. Uh-huh. Mom and Dad's car probably does not have a spoiler no, on I it. I haven't seen one of these before. But this spoiler gives a lot of downforce to give Amber a lot of comfort when she's going into the corner. Downforce? A lot of, it makes a lot of pressure onto the four tires to hold the race car into the ra onto the racetrack. Oh, it makes wow. it go faster. Oh, you love going fast. I love going fast. <laughs> is there any other way a race car is different from a regular car? Bodies are all fiberglass as opposed to metal. Okay. There's only one seat, so unfortunately I couldn't take you in my race car. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> and to keep her safe as we come around the race car, She has a radio in her car, but it's not a radio to listen to music. If someone breaks, uh -huh. he'll, he'll say, uh-oh, big crash up ahead, oh. watch out. And so that's when I know. Like, Amber, Amber, look ahead. Yeah. Look ahead, exactly, <laughs> that exactly. That is so cool, Dave. So to keep her safe, uh -huh. she's, got, she's got her seat, custom, custom fit to her, but we don't have a window on the driver's side of the car. Oh, what's that? We have a window net. Oh, a window net. And what this, it, see it looks just like a net. And this net goes up in here and it gets tight. It's to keep things from going in the car and, and hitting her, but allowing fresh air in, in, into the race car. Because it gets really hot in the race car. Oh, I bet. To help keep her cool. Wow, that is incredible. Thank you so much for showing me your car. You're welcome. That was so cool. <laughs> Very welcome. Hey, do you see that ladder in that platform? <laughs> yeah, someone stands there during the race and waves these flags. Green means go! <laughs> Yellow means caution, slow down. <laughs> Red means stop! <laughs> and the checkered flag means the race is over! <laughs> yeah! Okay, now that I've learned about the cars and the drivers and the track, I 
think I'm ready to try driving. Whoa, look! It's the real race car I get to drive. Number 43. But first thing first, safety first. See you soon. Woohoo! I have my helmet and my safety suit, and I'm all ready to go. Are you ready? I know I am. Let's do it. Whoa, this is gonna be so cool. Steering wheel. I'm ready. Whoa, this is so cool. I can't believe I'm driving a real race car. Yeah. Vroom, vroom. Race car Mika coming down the track. <laughs> I can't believe how fast I'm going. Oh, whoa, this is so fast. <laughs> ah, whoa, that was amazing. Did you see me? I was going so fast. Woo! <laughs> that was one of the coolest things I've ever Someday. I love climbing through the window and going so fast in a real race car. Meeting the pit crew was pretty cool too. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> Can you spell my name with me? Awesome. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Okay, little race car drivers. See you later. It's me, Mika, and today I'm at the Happy Ice in Los Angeles, California. And I'm so excited because we get to learn all about water ice. Have you ever heard of water ice before? <laughs> it's smooth and creamy like ice cream, but refreshing like shaved ice. And I can't wait to taste it. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Are you ready to explore? <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's go. Hey, I'm Mika. So nice to meet you. Hey, Mika, I'm Lemire. <laughs> do you make Happy Ice? Yes, I do. I'm actually the owner of Happy Ice. Really? Yes. Wow. And we serve Philadelphia water ice. You ever had it before? Never. Oh, man, you need to learn more about it. You want to learn more? Yes, please. Colorful in here. And look, there's a rainbow. <laughs> I love rainbows. Let's see which colors this rainbow has. Red, pink, yellow, blue, a different shade of blue, and green. Wow. And hey, look at these clouds. Wait a minute. Oh, we're surrounded by clouds. Whoa, do you see that up there? <laughs> so fluffy. <laughs> Check out this watermelon. Oh, would you like to count the seeds with me? Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten watermelon seeds. <laughs> and did you know this part of the watermelon is called the rind? <laughs> yeah, it's green. Cool. <laughs> oh, and look, another red fruit. Do you know what it's called? That's right, cherries. <gasps> Let's count the cherries. One, two, two delicious cherries. Check out all these fruits. <laughs> oh, look at this one, a lemon. It's one of my favorite colors, yellow. Do you see any other yellow fruit? Yeah, this pineapple has yellow and green too. This pineapple is so sweet and this one is really sour. <laughs> oh, and look at all these red fruits. 
strawberries, and some more cherries, just like this one. <laughs> and watermelon too. Ooh, I love this place. It makes me feel so happy. Happy ice, happy ice. Sounds so good, I had to sing it twice. <laughs> and look, another rainbow. Whoa. Let's see where the rainbow goes. Ooh. Hey, Lamir. Hey. You ready to get started? Are you ready to get started? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we can start off by letting you choose the flavor we start making today. <gasps> can I choose two flavors? Why not? Today's a special day. Oh, great. What color should we choose? I see white and green. <gasps> I would love to try a yellow flavor, but I don't see any. Oh, well, this right here, I know it looks orange, uh -huh. but when we make it and it comes out the machine, it's gonna be bright yellow, just like your headband. <laughs> Perfect. I'd like that flavor, please. Gotcha. And I would like my other favorite color, purple, too, but I don't see it. Oh, purple is your favorite color? Yes, one well, of guess them. Guess what? We don't typically have purple, but I did make a custom flavor recently flavor. that I didn't get a chance to use, but today's a special day. Whoa. It's lavender. Lavender? What does yes. that taste like? So lavender is a floral flavor. Uh -huh. It's like a herb, very light, but very, very good. Oh, I like that one, please. All right. Purple and yellow. Got it. Let's do it. Great. <laughs> Let's go make it. All righty. We now have our flavors. Great. You ready to start making? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're chefs today, so we have to have our aprons. Great. Now, we're going to go ahead and pour our flavor inside of our pitchers right here. Okay. Okay. You want to do yellow? Yes, please. I'll go ahead and do the purple. Wow! All right. Go ahead and pour the whole thing inside. All right. All righty. I'll take that one. You can, now you have your lavender. Lavender. Mm-hmm. In machine one. Pour that one, one. inside of there. Mmm, <laughs> it smells so good. Doesn't it? Yeah. It tastes good, too. Awesome. Thank you. And now, sitting at the top of the machines, is our special water mix. This is what makes Philadelphia water ice, Philadelphia water ice. <laughs> Very special. You want to go ahead and take this. Okay. And pour this right directly inside the machine with the flavor. Okay. Here I go. You are doing a good job today. Oh, thank you. Perfect. Yep. And we got one more. Where to go? You actually make two flavors. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Perfect. All righty. So. Now we're at the final stages. Okay. And we want to make the product. So we have our icons on here. And the one that kind of looks like an ice cream cone, when we hit that one, the machine is going to start and it's going to freeze the product oh. and actually turn it into Philadelphia water ice. Wow. Okay. Okay. So I'll let you have the honors of counting down and okay. we're going to hit the button together. Together. Ready? All right. Three, two, one. Oh. Wow. Check out all this foam. <laughs> all righty. So now the product is frozen inside and it's time for us to let it out. All right. So I'm going to start off by just hitting this button. And this one. And now it's ready to come out. So I'm going to stir up the top a little bit. Get the top mixture a little solid. All right. And we ready to go. Here go your bright yellow. Remember I told you like a head man? Yeah. All right. Looks great. I'm going to let it out. I'm going to demonstrate on this one. And you're going to do that one, okay? Okay. All right. So you want to bring it to the center. You have to lift it up. And then the product comes out. And we want to stir it while it's going inside of the bucket. Whoa. And once it fills up, bring this back down. Turn it to the side. Stop the machine. Keep stirring. We're going to stir it a little bit just to flatten it out. And you are all set. Okay. You want to start by hitting that button, uh -huh. then that one, and then you can lift up the handle. 
All right, turn that to the middle, lift it up. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. And go ahead and stir as it's coming out. Do I fill up the whole bucket? That should be enough right there. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Go to stop the machine for you. And now we have to go ahead and pop on our two lids. Okay. And once we pop on our lids, we're gonna hurry up and get inside of the freezer so there's no ice crystals and we're all ready to go. Great. Okay? All right. So we need our two lids. We're gonna pop our lids on. Perfect. <laughs> and now you wanna go ahead and get them inside of the freezer okay. so they can get ready to serve. <laughs> That was so much fun. <laughs> happy ice, happy ice, sounds so good, I had to sing it twice. Happy ice, happy ice, happy life. <laughs> oh look, we have a customer. <laughs> Wait, I thought I had a customer. <gasps> oh, there she is. <laughs> Here you go, babe. Yeah. You're welcome, enjoy. <laughs> Another happy customer. Thanks for helping me learn about Happy Ice today. We got to visit the Happy Ice truck and try different flavors, and we even made our own flavor. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. See you later, friends.